Welcome back to Today on Bay TV. I'm Rachel Hopkins and I'm joined by Annie Peleshi and David Morris. Annie's going to join us in a minute. We're going to speak to David first about these uh, beautiful smelling wines. Yes, they do. So today we're talking about uh, wines from a place called Rioja. Mm -hmm. now many people know Rioja or know the word Rioja, but don't realise it's an actual place uh, in northern Spain, so about an hour south of Bilbao. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you get the ferry to Bilbao, you I can have done in the past. Take, take a drive over the mountains and you're into the region of uh, Rioja. And they are renowned for making uh, red wines, but they also make very nice white wines, which a lot of people don't realise, and some rosé wines. Well, today we're going to concentrate on the reds because of the time of year. I think we're switching more towards red wine drinking. Very warming drinking. Yeah, yeah. So I thought we'd take you through two wines from exactly the same winery mm. that are predominantly the same grape varieties as well, but they've been aged in different ways, mm. and you'll see the difference that makes to uh, the end result. Mm. So, um, yeah, so the first thing to do, well, like you said, you can smell the, smell the aromas smell of this beautiful. wine that I just poured already. So take a sniff. It's very sort of red berry fruits, mm. quite nice and vibrant. And then when you taste, again, it's more predominantly fruit, and you'll see what I mean with more fruit flavours than any oak or any mm. vanilla that comes from the way it's aged. This is quite a young wine. It's called their Hoven Tempranillo. Um, it's aged for less than six months in oak, so you don't really get that sort of influence of the oak. It's very, very subtle. It's more about... The, the original grape mm. and the fruit, you know, and all that. I don't know quite... an awful lot about wine, but I always thought that the longer wine sort of matured and this, that and the other, the better it was, but that's not the case. Um, uh, in Rioja, is it generally, yeah, that is generally the rule. So yeah. the, 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 they treat them differently. So the, do you know the words like Creantha and Reserva and things like that are classifications mm. of wine? Well, that's all down to how long they're aged in a barrel and then left in a bottle before they're released to market. This is unique to Rioja. So you get young wines like this, which are less than six months in an in a oak barrel. Mm. And then you get Creantha wines, which are a year in oak and a year in bottle. Then you get Reserva, which are a year in oak minimum, more like 18 months, and then two years in bottle. And then you get Gram Reserva at the very top end, which is two years in oak mm. and three years in bottle before they're released to market. So from the time they're picked and pressed, it's five years before they actually appear on your shelf. So as you can imagine, the cost that comes with say, storage and all that stuff. But they, you know, it, as a rule of thumb, then they're picking their best quality grapes yeah. to, or, or certain grapes that they know are going to age well to make these big so wines. Worth it, part of oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it's completely different. Mm. Beast, you know, so. And all these are all red wines. Are they sort of um, better with different meats? Yes. Different so, occasions? so wines like this, which are young, to me, this is a wine you drink on your own or with very light food. You know, it doesn't need a lot Not of heavy on your food. Own, yeah. but on its own. Uh, it? oh, it's sitting in the house on my own. You are. But yeah, uh, yeah, oh, definitely on its own. It's yes. not. It's not yeah. a wine that specifically needs a lot of food yes. with it to um, to be quite enjoyed because it's quite light and mm. it's more fruity. fruity. But if you tip that out and we'll and I'll pour you the reserva you'll see the difference. So you should see the difference in the colour, slightly darker, but you'll smell it more than anything. Shall we call Anne on so she can... Yes, certainly. Well? Come, Anne, in, Anne. come and join us. So you get the Thank benefit. you, I was hoping so. you'd call <laughs> me on. I could see <laughs> you Yes, <boring>. sorry. <laughs> so yeah, taste the, or smell and taste the young wine first, okay. which you've got in that glass. And that's the, the Tempranillo. So Tempranillo is a great variety mm. that is synonymous with Rioja. Uh, it's, a, it's just a very almost bluish red berry. I can smell um, the difference. Yeah. Well, and th so when you get to the next wine, which we can pour you now, Annie, much more vanilla, much more. You can even smell a little bit of oakiness that's coming through. And that's mm. because it's spent twice as long in, um, well, actually not twice as long. Was there grapefruit in that one? Um, I could swear I tasted something. Yeah, it's, well, it's too, really it? ripe fruit. Yeah, it's, uh, people say it's more red fruits, but if you can taste grapefruit, no, that's like what a, you can taste. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Taste through it. And it. smell this one now and see what you think of the difference. So this is aged for six months in oak. This is actually aged for more or less 18 months, so it's triple Quite the amount it, yeah. of time. Are uh, you a wine drinker, Annie? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> so exactly the same grape varieties. You know, grape. Yes. So the starting mm -hmm. grape was the, the same, but they've just gone through these different aging techniques mm. and different processes. This one, it, it, it just hits your nose straight away, mm. doesn't yes. it? Yes. Mm. Much more power, much more intensity. Now, if you're talking about eating food with this, you know, a nice bit of lamb, mm. 
It's National Food Day today. Is it? Yes. Well, then, if you get yourself a nice lamb steak or, or a leg of lamb, you know, this yeah. would be absolutely mm. perfect. Lamb is so good. You know, it's yeah. a, a real sort of Welsh food, isn't it? Yeah, With yeah. Cow and everything. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think Rioja. So, as a rule of thumb, if you if you think of a wine of where it comes from and mm. if they produce food in that place as well, yes. so northern Spain's good for lamb. Mm. You know, you you have you, you can been out to Rioja to yes, take many these? times, luckily. many times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, but it's, uh, these guys are a winery called Rioja Santiago. They're the right. third oldest winery in Rioja, so they've been there since 1870. Mm. So you meet the whole family behind these wines. Yeah, yeah. Right? They've yeah. actually been bought by a bigger uh, corporation now, Marcus Stiller right. Concordia. But they're still, you know, very much mm. family oriented and deal with guys like us because we're a family business. Yeah. So. Why is it always oak? Why is it oak that they store the, the wine? It's very traditional. Is yeah. I mean, uh, some reds aren't stored in oak, they're stored right. in steel. Right. Um, oh, right. Yeah, but right. you don't get the same influence as you would from the oak. Right. But in Rioja, it's always oak. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. And it's normally French, a little bit of American oak. But yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we could oak trees in Wales, we could send them. Well, you could have a word. <laughs> See what you can do. And then for, to finish off, I bought a little treat because we've just um, launched uh, a new product called Gower Gin. Now, gin obviously mm. has had a massive boom lately, especially craft gin. Why do you think that is? Because, I mean, gin's always been a lovely drink, isn't yeah. it? So why I, 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 we don't know. Yeah. In all the years that we've been yeah. dealing with alcohol, I don't, I've never seen anything like this happen before. Mm. But all of a sudden, you know, we sell 70, 80 different gins, mm. and we could probably sell triple the amount of that because it's just crazy. Right off the shelf. Yeah. Mm. So, but Gower Gin has just been launched uh, by Andrew Brooks. Um, the 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 main botanicals, uh, fennel, which are foraged in the dunes of Portainen, which is quite oh, nice. Right. Mm. And also pink grapefruit is, is a big part of this. So oh. you uh, hopefully you'll be able to taste are. it. So I'll I'm pour you a tiny thing up. then. Yeah, I'll I, pour you a I tiny, really tiny like gin. Up. It's probably one of my favorite drinks, but it lends itself to so many different cocktails and concoctions. It's amazing, it? yeah. And uh, to be honest, off the back of the gin boom, things like Fever Tree oh, and Clantley, you know, all the guys that make the, the mixers oh, with them. Yeah. Smell it. Smell the grapefruit there. Yeah, so some people smell this and they get um, more fennel. Some people smell it and get more citrus. I, I personally get more citrus, but yeah. Yeah. I think when you taste it, you can get more fennel-y type flavours and licorice. And... Oh, that is so mm. nice. Oh, but it's with, beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I think with gin, you can. T it's really clear from mm. a bad gin to a good gin, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good you know, one. Like I can't always tell with wine, but yeah. I yeah. know my gin. No, that's a good that's one. Lovely. So at the moment, we're the only people that retail this, uh, so you can buy it and cheers it. Uh, it is, it, you know, it's thirty nine ninety nine a bottle, so it's not right. cheap, but it's. Um, well, it's great. I mean, um, I've gift. got family who don't live or from, from Swansea who don't live in Swansea anymore. Yeah. And it's Christmas coming up. Isn't it nice though? You and can send them something. Send them something yeah. that's, mm. been, you know. Made, made locally here and, and yeah. locally sourced, yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, and you mentioned Christmas. I was going to bring it up. Are you starting to warm up now for it's the Christmas more period? More than warming up. Yeah, yes. <laughs> we're nearly there. <laughs> yeah, I know it's yeah. frightening, isn't it? Yeah. I sort of thought was it too early to mention yeah. it, but no. No. from the start of September, we we're one eye on Christmas, unfortunately. So we're um, in retail, yeah. Yeah, all our brochures will be coming out soon. Yeah. All our offers start the first of November. Right. Um, so yeah, it's a good time for everyone to come yeah. and. Have a look oh, around. And I suppose people book the wine and everything for parties, do they? Yeah. And then it's gifts and yeah, you can you know we deliver to people's houses now for right up till Christmas and Gosh. well even the New Year. Sit and get your wine delivered. Um, How fabulous can you bring is a that? Load of that <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, you could, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Careful what you wish for. All right. <laughs> so you mentioned offers in November. Can you sort of let us know what they are? Or have we got to wait oh. to? Uh... Um, there's a load of. Um, offers on Rioja. They've started now because um, October is Rioja month traditionally around the UK. Mm -hmm. So there's all these things that come out with Shop Rioja, hashtag Shop Rioja, all on Twitter and everything. So at the moment we're focusing on Rioja. But yeah, coming from no November, December, basically we, we pick a selection of like 50, 60 products that we hammer the price on, give customers a real good opportunity to taste some nice stuff mm. uh, at real good prices. Because yeah. you can come in, you do regular tasting. Yeah, yeah, like that, every, sat, yeah. so every Saturday we've got something open to taste in the shops right. if you come down. Mm. Uh, there's always something on taste. Yeah. There's always gin open to taste, so you can come at any time and taste that. Um, yeah, you get then we, regulars then? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then we've got a big wine tasting on the 24th of November. Now, I think at the moment it's sold out, but we are in discussions about printing more tickets. So, All right. Um, mm. Fingers crossed we'll get that sorted, because we didn't expect tickets to sell as quickly as they have. Yeah. 
And yeah, we only print 100 and they've gone already. So. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So lots, not a bad thing. lots happening. Because you do a lot for the community, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Ju uh, we just sponsored a charity event actually in the Waterfront Museum uh, for Hands Up for Downs. They just did a big uh, fundraiser. Oh, lovely. So we sponsored all the wine for that. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, we like, uh, you know, we've got to get involved in the community. We're a local family business, so. That's yes, what we're about. and you're down in the Mumbles, so if you're down yeah. the Mumbles, don't worry just about going to Joe's, get yeah, to Cheers Wine Cheers Merchants and, as yeah. well and get some, <laughs> then some of these lovely gifts. Well, thank you for coming in to see us again, David. Annie, thank you, lovely. Anytime. Anytime, <laughs> anytime. anytime. <laughs> yeah.